Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're in the Greater Montreal region. We are just confirming a paint thickness on, uh, on all of the panels of this 2016 Mazda 3. So we're going to start with the hood. Well, first of all, just before we start, um, I wanted to show the VIN just to verify that uh, the car is uh, 2016 I'll get you the manufacturing date as well you can read the VIN number here too so the car was made in February 2016 and that's the VIN number all right so we're gonna start with the hood this is calibrated and uh, the these are all in micrometers but I know that a lot of places might refer to or prefer to have mil as the paint thickness numbers so right now I'm at the front driver side fender it's half of the the thickness 7.4 the rest is consistent except for the rear um, passenger side you can see an 11.4 here 26 so something happened there that was painted and then we're almost back to normal yeah we're back to you see on the on the passenger side you have a 7.5 8.4 where on the driver side you have a 3.5 and then just a quick on the roof yeah so uh, the other thing I wanted to show as part of the video and just to give a confirmation on why or how um, I found out that the panel has been replaced. I'm just opening the hood. It's a very windy day today. So this is an original fender. You can see the bolts that hold the fender to the car are nice and clean. No damage there. Okay. Now we go into the fender that first you can see some signs of, of a repaint because if you're looking closely you're going to be able to pick some imperfections in the paint itself like here, here, here. There are a few spots uh, if you pay attention and then if you look at the bolts you see some scratches to them not only that the brand of the fender replacement is some I'm gonna try to get it in the video you can see the sticker there um, you can take a look it's a uh, it's a replacement fender it's a, it's a Chinese brand where for example on the rear passenger side when we're looking at I'll just close the hood because it's, uh, it's a windy day today All right, so going here, you can tell that these did not move. Nobody took a wrench to them. They're nice and clean. And inside too. And you can see it on both. Um, So that tells me that uh, whatever repair that happened here was very, 
restricted to this panel only all right uh, the rest of the car just did a quick computer scan checked if everything lines up and uh, there are a few codes because the uh, uh, the battery if you rewind the video you're gonna see a small uh, images of or, or li I think I did film the battery slightly and it did show that it was or has been overcharged previously maybe I'll just show you that quickly and I'll show you some signs too so if you look at the frame of the battery you can see here there is some f well there is some corrosion that has built up and it seems like uh, um, something has happened now this battery is a 2016 manufacturing and the car is a 2016 so this is most likely the original battery for the car anyway uh, these are the notes that I had for this car and you can probably see here if you look at the reflection of the white car in the background you see how it differs between this polish anyway uh, this has been Sinan from car inspected and that was a paint thickness verification test on this 2016 Mazda 3 thank you for watching